Do you ever get socially anxious? Moments where you're just simply worried about what it is you're gonna say. Have you offended that new person you just met? Is this new friendship group, do they even like you? Are you participating to the friendship group? The social environment, the social life, friends, people, it's a very big part of life and it can sometimes make you feel like life is terrible. If you have a really good social life, you have a satisfying life. Whereas if you have a really poor social life and you get really socially anxious, you feel like life is a lot worse, that you don't have a good life satisfaction. This is something I used to struggle with as well. The fear of being excluded, the fear that I'm not being participating within the group. So I read a book known as How to Win Friends and Influence People. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. So I read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Yeah, this is something that I've always struggled with, just meeting new people. People are scary, man. <laughs> I just scared of people. And uh, it wasn't until I actually read the book and I actually started going out and socializing more. It wasn't until then I started learning some very important things, which you may not know about. Things that I didn't realize I was doing. That, that made people really not like me. That made me very unlikable. So I want to reveal to you the things that I did, which the book highlighted, that literally made people instantly not like me. And how I changed that. And how I actually managed to make more friends by this. The first one is, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Look, don't criticize and complain about someone all the time. You see, when you think about it, how do you react when you are criticized for something that you just did? It hurts. You end, you people tend to act defensive. Defensive. People tend to be quite offended and they'll act offensive. Criticisms hurt people's pride. You know, when you get criticized, it hurts, it sucks. So instead of always criticizing, always complaining, see their motive behind things. Reward their motive, their reason behind something. It helps you you become a lot, lot easier to get along with. You are way easier to get along with when you are doing this and when you're not always criticizing and complaining. You see, it's something I used to do. And I'm so glad that my friend told me that it was really dickish and annoying to be around me when I was like this. Another thing is that people do not really have an interest in you. People have an interest in themselves. People like listeners. Be a good listener and show an active, actual interest in that other person. People are very interested in themselves. Get them to talk about themselves. Listen to what they have to say. You become way more likable like this, and you actually win friends. Literally, if this is too hard, ask yourself a question. What is it about this person that I admire? Genuinely become interested in other people, what they have to say, their social interactions, their day they had at work what is on their mind currently, what they want to do. Just listen to their thoughts, their interests. People are very interested in themselves more than they are interested in you. That's why people really like listeners. Another one which I used to really struggle with, and that is mentioned by the author in the book, is smile. Smiling has literally been proven scientifically that it can raise someone else's mood and make them smile. However, I used to never do it. I used to struggle, literally even just walking down the street. I'd be listening to my music, walking to work, and I'd cross someone else who's just walked across me, and they'd smile at me, someone slightly older, they'd smile at me, I was listening to music, and I'd look at them and be like, brother, oh, oh person, ah! I literally was just, I just pretend that I was listening to music too loud that I didn't notice them, even though we stared at each other directly in the eyes. So I started to stop listening to music. I don't listen to music now when I'm walking. When I'm walking into town, when I'm walking in the woods, when I'm walking to work or to meet friends, I don't listen to music. I make sure I don't listen to music. And when I do this, I find that I actively try to smile at people more, people who walk across me. I'll give them a little smile. They, I've literally had people look so down. I'll look at them, I'll smile as I walk past. They look at me, they smile, and then they're just smiling the rest of their walk. That's how much of a change it can make. And that's literally just some random person you came across across the street. Imagine the people you're trying to actually become likable to. People you're trying to make friends with. If you have an actually, you have an actual authentic nice smile. 
you actually take an interest into them. You listen to them. You're not a person who looks depressed all the time. You actually have a smile. It makes them want to smile. And it makes you more likable. There is a lot in this book. There is so, so many things in this book. And I really recommend giving it a read. I'll I'll have a link in my bio, which you can read it. I have other books as well. But it is genuinely such a good book. I really recommend it. There is too much for me to squeeze in one video. So I'm picking the things that I have found that have helped me the most in like literally talking to people. Some things it repeats as well. But one of the most effective things that I have learned from this is that people's names are the sweetest sound to that person. A person's name is the nicest sound that they could hear. You don't hear people call your name a lot. So when you do, you're like, oh damn, it's quite nice. He remembered my name, but that's hard. Genuinely, people are forgetful by nature. Remembering a name is really fucking difficult from a new person you've just met. When you meet a new person, it's gonna be hard to remember you are gonna forget their name. So just actively try and remember. Because when they hear you say their name, they're like, oh shit, they actually remembered. Huh, okay. Can't help but put a smile on your face. It can't help but make you think, damn, this person actually pays attention to me. He's actually really nice. He's actually listening to what I say. This is genuinely one of the best things. Just remember their name and say it. Say it in a sentence. Use their name. To that person, to any person, their name is by far the sweetest sounding thing in the language. And also, it makes you stand out. Most people don't say each other's names. That's why it sounds so nice. It'll make you stand out and it'll make you very easy to get along with. So if we run down the most important things I've learned from this book, don't keep criticizing people, don't complain all the time. Reward people's motives and their success because you become way more likable and way easier to get along with. Be an active listener, listen to them, get them to talk about themselves, genuinely be interested in the other person, smile, and then just say their goddamn name, man. Just remember their name. Doesn't sound like a lot, but just these little tiny things make you a way more likable person. And the thing is, the reason that is, is because so many people forget about these things. And when you don't do them and you do the opposite, you look like a dick. (laughs) You don't listen. You only talk about yourself. You don't know their name. You never smile. You look like you're depressed. (laughs) Hopefully this video helped you out. And I hope things are good, man. I hope you've been all right. The weather's so good right now in England. It's like 20 degrees and it's like the first time it's been like this. It's been raining like all week. I can literally wear my like summer shirt. Yeah, let's go. I can finally start showing my progress at the gym. Yay. I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah. Come here. Self-improvement kiss.